big changes are happening in our homeschool this year. We are switching curriculums. We have used Ambleside Online for the last seven years and have loved it. But we have really struggled, I have struggled, with figuring out how to incorporate what's going on with my older students and my younger students. I just feel so spread across all of their ages that I needed help. So we have switched to a curriculum called the CMEC and they are the CMEC.org and they are created by Celeste Cruz and Amy Snell. So in this video, I'm sharing why I switched and why it is helping me so much with my homeschool planning for next year. I'm Joy Cherick and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do videos about Charlotte Mason homeschooling, nature study, and family life. So the two main reasons that I switched were their teacher training, and the second is that they provide support for large family homeschool mamas. I think this video is gonna be so long, I'm trying to be quick. So under teacher training, they have three kind of sections that I have really utilized. They have training videos on the different subjects, just support for summer planning and what kind of an explanation of what they're doing for their form one and form one is like first through third grade and they're like okay here are the books that we're using here's why we're using them here's how we're going to use them the next thing that they provide are guidebooks for each of the books not every single one but some of the main books they have a guide to help you teach it well and to teach it in a charlotte mason which is with the Charlotte Mason method. So that has been amazing. As I'm reading through these guides, I'm starting to get a vision for how to lead my kids. So then the other resource they have is plans for the year by child, basically by form. So I can go in and see and understand kind of, I'm just able to think about each child and their development and then it just, they break it down for the plan. So I'm able to, you know, obviously you have to kind of sift through because it is a lot of information, but I'm able to kind of look at each of my students and go, oh, <laughs> this kid needs to be stretched in this way, or okay, this child is needs to be introduced to grammar this year or whatever the thing is, Whew, so helpful. Another thing that they have that has been amazing, and I am actually starting to create a, a folder on my computer of items from their website that I wanna print out and have as resources for the year. I'm just gonna print a bunch of different things and have them bound at the local printer. And one of those is PNEU articles. If you are a Charlotte Masoner, if you have read anything about Charlotte Mason, you might see this acronym PNEU. It's the Parents National Education Union that Charlotte Mason founded and that was kind of the group of schools and their educational, uh, just, it's almost like a club or society. And all of these different amazing people were writing articles for the PNEU and those would get mailed out to parents and teachers and governesses who were wanting to implement these, this method in their schools. So what they have done at the CMEC is pulled these articles and then they'll pair them with different subjects. So if you're talking about kindergarten, they've pulled some of the articles specifically talking about setting up a classroom for that age or a homeschool room actually is what they call it. It is you know, a governess or a mother would set up her home to be the school. And so it just, there are some articles like that. And then they have articles talking about um, one of the composers for the year, right? The Brahms, like he was there, <laughs> they were studying him a hundred years ago. So it's just, filled with resources like that, that will nourish my mind so that, right, I can support, nourish, and um, help my children thrive. 
So as far as resources go, there are two more that I was kind of blown away that they have on their website. They have map guides as far as just how to teach geography, but then here's some links that are to relevant modern, I don't know, videos and just different websites that would help you go deeper. Right? I don't have to go through and like do all of that. They've already done it. And they also have maps for Plutarch. So what they'll do is you print the map off and then you can talk about the map before you start your Plutarch lesson. And that kind of blew me away. Like, yeah, I'm always kind of going, I don't even know where these people are geographically, so I can't pin them to a physical place. And this resource that they have provided and done their research on, right, makes those things like that more robust. Then, I know, that's not all, it's not. They have arts and crafts video tutorials that you can watch with your children. They have some paper cutting and then they have knitting, they just, not knitting, needlework that they just put up. And then they also have clay modeling tutorials, video tutorials, man, video. I'm just, I'm so excited with the, for the resources that they have that have just supported, it just supports me so that I can implement some of these really vibrant living ideas in our homeschool without, you know, I've read, you know, I read some of this stuff and I go, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to teach a clay modeling lesson. Well, they're like, here's a book, here's an article, here's a video. I'm like, great. I can learn. I just didn't know where to start. Oh, so, and right. And, and, and they're like, here is the exact type of clay that we use. Because if you get the wrong kind of clay, it'll be super frustrating and it'll crumble. It'll make a mess, right? Thank you again for telling me. <sighs> They're amazing. So the second reason that I switched, even though I love Ambleside Online, right? Is because I was really struggling to figure out how to, <laughs> teach so many students at once. And these women are large family mamas and they have really spent time, energy, research, implementation <laughs> to figure out how to thrive and utilize the Char Charlotte Mason method just as much as they can, right? They're still learning. They're just a few stages ahead of me. Um, they have high school students. Maybe one of them has a college student. So my oldest is seventh grade this coming year. So I think it's always fun to stake yourself next to someone who's a little bit further ahead and has, you know, figured some things out, you know, down the road. So they provide teacher training for planning, like actual planning what do you do to plan? What does the planning look like? They have a summer planning course that I took as soon as I signed up. And that has been so helpful just to figure out what to do first. Oh, I figure out my timetable first. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> then what do I do? You know, I don't start with the book list, right? You start with how is this going to fit into our life? The other, the other, other thing is they are showing me how to care for my younger students. Uh, I have really been older kid centric in my homeschool planning and I can't do that. Like I can't keep doing that. I have so many younger kids always coming up and they have a whole Kinderleben program is what they call it. And that is kind of kindergarten age and younger kind of the they, they, they have different stages, but really once the child is walking and talking at like two, they can enjoy a lot of these Kinderleben activities. We're talking paper cutting, we're talking, they have singing games. What is a singing game you say? I didn't know either. Ring Around the Rosie is a great example of a singing game. You hold hands, you walk around in a circle, and then you all fall down. Well, I didn't know this. There's dozens and dozens of singing games. You could like 
actually you can look on YouTube, CMEC singing games and you'll find some of their playlists. Oh, they're amazing and vibrant and fun and we do them with my little kids and they just have so much fun and I'm gonna tell you my big kids are gonna do them this year too. Finally, they've helped me figure out what are some of the subjects that I can do with all my kids. This was something that with Ambleside Online, I was really struggling with, especially this last year when I had a sixth grader and a fifth grader you know, trying to figure out, okay, well, you're in this year and you're in that year and I can't figure out you're all in different time periods. I don't even know what to do together. And so this is where I like having kind of everybody's in the same time period. We're all studying Rome. We're all studying the civil war era, the 18 to 1900s this year. Great. Okay. Now I can pull different books and have a shelf with our time period instead of, okay, you're over here, you're doing what, I don't even know what time period. All right, so that is me trying to summarize <laughs> why I switched from Amazon Online to CMEC. I have so much more to say. I will try to do another video so that I can tell you more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.